right, so it's that time of year that I love, it's Halloween, so I thought as soon as it's coming up, I would do a bit of a Halloween gory look for you today, so it's going to be like a half cut face, half glam, and the only SFX products that I am going to use is liquid latex and fake blood, which are just from Asda, and they don't cost that much to be honest. Um, the other things that you'll need is your general makeup and some toilet roll, I've got to snitch your face. Never mind. Um, if you do like the video, don't forget to get a thumbs up. Do subscribe and click on the alert. Okay, so you want to grab yourself some liquid latex and a brush that you don't mind ruining. And you want to pop this on your face. Be careful not to get it in your mouth or too close to your eye because it does sting. Um, then you want to grab some ripped up toilet roll or tissue paper, whatever you've got laying around. And pop another layer of the latex on top. You want to repeat this process. A few times I did it about eight times but it's up to you and then I dried it off with a hairdryer just to speed up the drying process so once you're all dry you want to grab some concealer I'm using two peachy shades and you want to use a foundation brush and just buff that all over the skin Then you want to grab your foundation and a beauty blender and pop your foundation on as you normally would and once you've done that you want to get some setting powder and set that wound area Okay, so you want to grab a tool that you can get in between your actual skin and the latex with and some, then just create a gap then using scissors very carefully cut your desired shape so you want it to be thicker on the outside making sure it's going to be comfortable for you if you're wearing it on a night out or to a party or whatever you're doing then you want to grab your foundation again and pop that all inside the wound area Okay, so you're going to grab yourself a flat brush and some eyeshadow. I've just used a light brown. You want to pop that all inside the wound area. Don't worry about getting it on the actual outside parts as you will be going over this later on. And then go in with a darker brown and a purple and just repeat the process. Okay, so grab some eyeliner and just pop that all inside the wound area grabbing your eyeshadows again I'm going to go back into that light brown colour with a blusher brush and I'm going to buff all around that area of the latex just to create some shadowing and some looks of irritation. Then you're going to go into the dark brown shade and do it again.
and you want to go into a purpley shade after that just to create some more looks of irritation and then if you have a red use that and do that but try and buff it out a bit onto the face as well and onto the ear just to create some extra irritation Okay, so grabbing a dark red shade of lipstick and a brush, you want to pop that all around the wound area just to create a bit more irritation in the look of a fresh wound. So using a bit of a brighter shade of red, you're just going to do the same again where you've just put the darker shade. Just rub it all in there. Don't worry about it looking too perfect as a wound wouldn't usually. Okay, so using the purple and your brush that you've just been using, you want to put that on the eye to create a bruised look. Then with the red colour that we have just been using, you want to go over that as well, just taking it a little bit further and bringing it a bit down the nose. Now going in with that light brown colour again, you want to just go over what you've just done. Taking the black, you want to just go into your crease with that just to deepen the bruise in a little bit more and going underneath the eye. Okay, so you want to grab some red, preferably eyeliner if you've got it, I'm using lip liner and just pop that all into your waterline, taking it underneath the eye. Okay, so grab yourself some mascara and just pop that right onto your lashes. So you want to grab some brow pomade or a pencil, whatever it is that you're comfortable using and just do your eyebrows as you normally would. So now you want to grab a clean brush, you're going to do the other side of the face, you want to grab 
a normal shade or a Y just to create a bit of a base to go on to. Then we're going to go into the um, light brown fawny sort of shade and just pop that into the crease area. Now we're going to grab a bright shade, I'm going to use a purpley pink shade and I'm going to pop that just around about where I've done the fawny shade and just bringing it over a little bit more. Now I'm using a greeny, bluey colour and just popping that right onto the inner corner, blending it in with the pink. Now you want to grab a thin brush and go back into that pinky shade. We're just going to bring that underneath the eye and blend it out. And then we're going to do the same with the bluey greeny shade. Okay, so grab your mascara and just do that as you normally would. Now we're going to go into a bit of contouring, so grab your bronzer or your contour, whatever it is you have, and bronze or contour away. And then we're going to pop on a little bit of blush. Obviously just do the one side of your face. Now we're going to grab some highlighter and just to highlight your general areas and um, don't do the other side of your face obviously. Okay so now we're going to grab some lipstick and using Clinique in Cherry Pop and just do your lipstick and um, just try and miss out the black bit from the other side just so it sort of blends in a little bit more. Now for the fun let's add some blood. You don't really have to be very careful with this apart from obviously just be careful not to get it on your clothes or on your carpet. Um, I'm just using the old beauty blender here and just getting it all up in there just to make it as gory as possible. This is the finished look. What do you think? Leave some comments down below. It's, it feels quite tight on my face, but I'm sure like after a while you'll get used to it. But it's all open and disgusting. So try it out for yourselves. If you do, leave a picture down below. Let me see. Bye guys!